What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. It is July 1st, 2022. LA Mamba. It's a Friday. And uh, I want to talk about uh, investing in tires. Uh, and uh, tires that don't move much. Um... So for me, in my life, the highest rates of return I've ever made <clears throat> were in tires. Um, you'll be able to get some very good opportunities when it comes to buying low. Um, some people that don't want tires, just get them out of my way. Here, just give me whatever you want and they're yours. And they happen to be worth a lot, right? But they just don't know, it's just that they don't care for them. And, uh, and also to add to that, a lot of it, like a lot of deals, a lot, a lot, a lot of deals, like a lot of uh, tires that, uh, you know, it's not like once in a lifetime opportunity, you bought a car and you made this much on a car and then that was it. Sometimes like that happens. Uh, I saw in, in, in buying stock cars, and it's good. And, and But it's just like, you know, regular business and, you know, average, Shop, like tire shop also is like a regular business I just but uh when you get really good at what you're doing you're able to find and create very good uh deals investments um uh, when it comes to buying and selling tires so um one of the things of course it's very obvious that you need when you're having tires is a place to put them so i love to go high uh, when it comes to the racks, the big racks like you see here um, You can put so much tires up here and like the ones that don't move much you put them up here um, So then like You won't have to like keep going up and down up and down to get tires You just uh, whenever you need them, you go up and get them and that's it But the, the, the ones that move fast you keep them down there, right? Um, so um, Like in like and when you have some good money and saved and you can just buy tires that you don't need sometimes like we see a pretty good deal you just get them and just keep them saved up like this one right here see that 275 55 19 they're all like brand new all of them these go for like uh like the suv i think they're uh mercedes and bmw but uh you know i just keep them here until the right customer comes and you can sell for a good amount of money. You can sell for cheap too, but it doesn't matter. I just, I just hold on to them until I get, you know, pretty much any, any customer I have, I just let them go. But you can do whatever you want. You can sell them for more. Um, so you're gonna be able to have uh, some opportunities at your shop to build like, like a freaking, um, like what I got here, you know, like, uh, I guess like a little storage for on top for the tires. Be able to, um, make it real strong and very sturdy and just, uh, you know, for storage. So up here, these, these tires I have here, these are SUV 18s. These are up here because they just happen to be the slowest moving tires. Um... So we yesterday when I talked to those uh, used tire wholesaler guys, they said that this, these sizes right here, like a 245, 60, 18 has been moving a lot for them. I have a whole bunch saved. Like I have them down there and, um, and up here. And I mean, I just, to me, they just move average. So, you know, it's an average moving deal. But they're saying they, they started moving a lot. So I'm, I'm not gonna be surprised if I start signing these a lot but but um i keep them up here the slowly moving stuff i keep the 18s up here they're usually more up here but um this is what i got now and the scv 19 so from like right here on these are the 19s and the big scv 19s also the bigger ones not the low profile ones uh move slower so i keep them up here too um so I don't have to come up and down all the time. 
but when I, you know, just pe- people, man, they, they get emergency, they were like, please have, please have, and then you have them and you can sell them good money, so, um, I, I like to keep everything, you know, I got some room, so I like to just keep uh, stashing away tires, buy and, and hold the tires, and, um, Mention they do sell, everything sells. It's just that it's just slower. So yeah, all these are the slower slower moving ones. They get 24550, 19. This is a run flat Pirelli. I tread. Another one. Well this is an 18, but 225, 60, 18. Um, this is just a regular tire. This is not a hot, this is not a run flat. But you can see, I like to just buy like good quality shit. I mean, most people do, but um, a lot of people can't find them. They'll get like lower quality stuff, and you know, all they can get is all they can get, right? But um, um, if you get the good connections, you'll be always get some good tires. You won't have no problem. Uh, Getting tires, no shortage of tires for you. Um, maybe a little bit if they get a little stuck with tires, uh, having a little shortage, but not really long term. All right. So we uh, got the tires in from uh, the picking yesterday. I just walked through. Show me some. I already sold some today. It was a, uh, it's a beautiful thing when you always have a whole bunch of customers and adding more tires to your collection only does you good. So don't worry about the money you spent. The money is there, but it just more than doubled. So when it comes to buying tires, I see it always like an investment. Uh, if I buy a tire, that money is well spent. If uh, I'm kind of iffy about buying that tire, I do not buy the tire. I just uh, leave it and uh, save my money for the next time or the next tire, right? But this is the good shit, ladies and gentlemen. This is what's gonna be moving today's market. Um, it's not like back in the day where all the cars were Honda Accords, were 14s and 15s. This is 2022. There's all kinds of cars, and 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 most of them have like uh, tire and wheel packages available in that car. So, which is low profile tires. And this is it, like the 22s, uh, the white shit, right? The 325s, you can sell these a lot. Um, I mean, you name it, Camaros, Mustangs, Chargers. There's a lot of those cars. SUV uh, Mercedes, these are, these are hard to find now. And uh, before they don't really want it, but 275 50 20 so i got uh some of those and uh 16s these are really hard to find now like uh your average like 265 70 16 or 275 70 16 lts those are the 265 70 17s i'll tell you right now those are hard to get used so I saw like five, six of them, I grabbed them. See, it was, back then there was more stuff like that, like who cares, but now it's like, man, everything is like in a shortage and it's wanted and needed. Um, I always grab the 18, like the 265, 35, 18, I just always grab those. Shortage is a 255, 35, 18, that's like hot size. Um, 215, 45, 17, that's a hot size always. Um, when it comes to the, the, the market right now, uh, it's it's uh, it's hard to get a lot of sizes right now when it comes to those um, 
tire size that kind of like there's a lot of cars but not really i don't know we're thinking i mean we don't really know exactly what's going on but we're thinking two things going on one there's not a lot of money so people are not buying a lot of tires when it comes to brand new and two um they go until they can no more and then they'll buy new tires so like what what was it uh wednesday when we we're closing some lady pulled in 205 65 16 and they were like all four all super bad beat up tires and one had a nail and she had to come in because she had the nail and it was leaking there and so she bought four brand new ones after already we're already closed um so i'm i'm kind of seeing that too i heard someone say that and i kind of see that too so that's why i think there's um it's kind of hard to get used tires i mean they're out there you get them slower slower but it wasn't like this before um so Two thirty-five, forty-five, seventeen. See that that stuff is hard again now, and I've noticed that about a year now for that size, and also about a year two hundred five, sixty-five, fifteen. Those have been hard to get recently used, but I got all that stuff in right here. It's gonna be a good help um, moving forward. Two twenty-five, sixty. Kind of like your average tire. Red and butter. Even that's weird stuff. 255, 55, 20s. I have customers uh, coming in recently for these, so I grab. They saw grab, saw grab, saw. It's weird. I mean, this, it's not even like a hot size, you know? But it sells. Uh, 255, 50, 20s. To me, that was like a bread and butter size now. For the mud terrains, hot sizes. Right now, I see the 37, 12, 50, 20, or 37, 13, 50, 20 in higher demand. So I grab some of those. I see 33s in higher demand, 20s and 33, 18s. Um, when it comes to 35s, like 35, 12, 50, 20, 35, 12, 50, 17s. Those are always your like your average and order bread and butter stuff. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to say 275, 65, 18s. These are right here, LTs are starting to become higher demand. It's weird. Like, why is the LTs starting to like come up? But I just read what are what is selling. I read what the market is asking, what the people are asking. And I buy them, and I mean I have everything, so I would like sell, 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 and then I start selling, seeing what sells more, and then uh, I buy more of that, of course. So then you gotta be in the game. We're always in the game, and, um, and that's how you're able to adjust real fast. It's like any business, you know, you gotta adjust real quick. So you just gotta keep adapting. Trailer tires, the 13s, old school stuff. I still saw a lot of that. This is always your bread and butter size right here. LT 245, 75, 16. So if you go buy tires and you see something like this, buy it. Don't let you pass by. Oh, and if it's higher tread, of course, you that's like hot. That's a hot item. In that size, so the old school size is 275, 60, 15. That's hard to get right there. Hope this video helps you with uh, tire picking. If you're gonna start opening up a tire shop, or you barely started opening a tire shop, these are the tire sizes that are hot now, moving now. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not the same last year. It's, it's a different ball game.
Let me see what else I, got, I can tell you guys. Take advantage of my Friday to help y'all with y'all business. Alrighty, so... Okay, so uh, I think I said this in my other video before, but when it comes to 235-40-19s, you know, that, that's uh, always a tire you want to grab. If it has, in my opinion, like 70% life and up. Because if you, if you don't have nothing, go ahead and grab the lower tread stuff, like 50% life stuff. But once you already have like a few of those, you uh you don't want to grab no more you want to just stick only to the high tread stuff like 70 percent or more <laughs> because what happens is that the lower tread stuff will move but it will move slower and it takes space and the high tread stuff is hot and it moves fast and you can sell it for more and you can get it for like pretty much the same price because when it comes to used tires they're not really seeing they're what well, i'm sorry they don't see like this tire is high tread i'm gonna sell it to you for more they just all at the same price pretty much so you know you you want to take advantage of uh as much as you can first of all it's gonna be easier to sell and second well you can sell for more but the more important thing is the easier to sell so the more important thing is like it's a higher demand so like other shops are not gonna have it and you're gonna have it and you'll sell it see here's another one 265 35 i just collect those i just collect them and they move 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 they always have like pairs and pairs and pairs it's a mercedes tire and um there's starting to be a lot less of these now by the way so This is 2022 merchandise. This is uh, July 1. So this is what you're going to see be seen out there. And this is what moves right here. See, here's, here's the one I just told you about. A 245, 75, 16. High tread. We see it. You grab it. High demand. And you can sell it for more. And I got it for the same price as I did this one. See that? So... For this one, I'll sell it for 55 plus tax. And then this one, I'll sell it for like 75 plus tax. And I paid the same amount for both of them. Learning the game, guys. Learning the game. All right. Um, this is just a little quick side thing, but like this little pile here is tires that need patch. So you see that? If you get a, if you just see something in the shop, we put it here. We just mark it and just leave it here until we have time to come around and patch the tires. And so once you patch one here, one there, it, the, the pile goes down pretty fast. So it is just about you know having you guys motivated and you know patch a tire here and there and then they get in the groove and then you'll start seeing the the, the, the piles go down so i like the one i mean you gotta know how to motivate your guys like every guy is different one guy I motivate is, is like i'll buy a mammogram right in the morning i know he doesn't eat in the morning because he's like in a hurry and he gets here and then i buy my food and i buy my hamburger let's just say whatever it is i have different things right but i just today was a hamburger and he, he, he eats it he becomes happy because he had no food in his stomach and he said like, oh this was cool and man he busts his ass all day and makes some good profit so this one right here this section is the section of the returns so the tires that i buy and are no good we keep them here until we buy more tires and then uh, they'll give us credit with the way I do it with them is a dollar amount So like if I bought it for 20 bucks a tire 
in that size, they discount $20 on the receipt. And then, um, yeah, so I, I, if you can see it from the last video, I have more room right here because two different companies came, so I had two different companies uh, joint tires. So I still got more companies here like I can do return when I buy from the other places. So I got one, two, three, more places, four. So these are for like four other people. This one actually went out of business right here. So I should just throw this one away already, but that comes out of business. It goes to you see that it's, uh, if you don't hustle hard in this business, then you're not gonna make it even though you're in a good business, which is uh, either in a tire shop or if, if you're gonna do a used uh, wholesaling tire business, um, if you're you're not working, man, you don't get those tires in, you don't get the customers, you're not gonna you're not gonna survive. You don't pay your bills. The company's not gonna want to sell your tires anymore, and you just killed your business and you go out of business. So um, there's no way around it. You have to fucking work hard in the business. When, if you want to come into the tire business, there's no way around it. You have to work hard. So if you want to kick it, there's other businesses that you can kick it but not in this shop business so if you want fools who want or women who want to work hard go hard go hard then this is potentially something for you um so we gotta uh, organize a lot i got those tires in so i gotta have a lot of room i i have a lot of room so i gotta fill in the room with the tires so there's gonna be a not gonna be tomorrow because tomorrow is saturday and we're gonna be packed all day so um it's gonna have to be probably till tuesday because sunday gets packed i probably have like one hour on sunday maybe when we open but maybe that sometimes it gets packed in the run of time so monday forget it, it's always packed in the morning uh, packed in the afternoon and in the middle during the day varies but I'm going to bet it's going to be packed this uh, Monday because you got to understand trends when you have busy days busy days are likely to follow so like we're busy I mean it's been busy I mean start I, as far as I can remember it's Tuesday busy Wednesday busy Thursday close Friday busy that means Saturday and Sunday are going to be busy. You get it? So if it's kind of slower, then most likely it, the trend's going to follow on the slower side also. And and usually it's two weeks and two weeks because it's, uh, you know, pay the bill, I mean, pay the rent, pay the mortgage first and 15. So you got to understand that's the way it works. And then also if there's like big events that happen, like, here in Cali, we have, um, I'm sorry, SGB, yeah. we have the Pomona Fairplex, the fair, the yearly fair. When that fair goes on, man, the businesses get slower, including the tire shop. So you gotta see the big events, holidays, like uh, when it comes to uh, Valentine's Day, that day is usually the slowest day of the week, uh, out of the year, actually. I'm sorry, of the year. So there's some holidays that like Easter is one of the days that gets slower, like for sure. So you gotta adjust with your people. So if you have a holiday coming in like that, then you might have one guy step back and not work that day. Uh, a lot of other holidays though, they get really busy. Like Labor Day gets very busy for me. Um, other days uh memorial day gets very busy for us uh the end of the year holidays uh those get busy um the president days all that stuff man, it doesn't really matter on those days we it's the same thing for regular business so you just got to understand and, and uh adjust to your business when it comes to those days um i got more of these too 
See, this is a weird ass size right here, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. Uh, 285 40 20 i got some over there i got a set a minimum of set but um these i put them on like chargers and challengers that have a lot of room in the back of wheelbase so it fills in that big ass hole that they have um and uh it looks you know it looks pretty good like they people like the wheel wall to be filled in with tire or rim so um i get these i just hold them and, and you know the guys that you know you oh by the way you have to sell these to them they don't know about sizing and stuff so you gotta be like look these will fit and these are good right and they're like hell yeah let's do it and then sell sold right and uh you know buy for 20 bucks you sell for 150 bucks plus tax right um so you just you know you gotta be the one selling when it comes to those situations um you gotta know what you know it's not that hard by the way it's not that hard just you know you just gotta have an imagination what looks good with what cars and um and what if it not rub and the customers will be happy and they'll come back because then uh, oh you always have the tires right oh yeah yeah all right cool um then i'll be coming here in my spot i'll be coming here and then all right cool and then yeah they do come they come back and come back and come back and you know, potentially for years to come, and they keep the same car, right? And then they change car, and then it's like, oh, it's a whole another game. It's like they got the another car, not like muscle car. It says they're wearing the car now. They got tired of it and stuff. Then it's like, ah, they can get, they can go anywhere and buy that stuff. But the muscle car stuff is like, they only they only gonna come here. It's just an example. You gotta know how to sell it. But it's gonna be, I guess, your little niche. That's that's kind of like one of my little niches, is the muscle car uh, wide size tires. <laughs> Um, 18s it was I was really big into the 18s back then you know, 295 35 uh, 18s there was uh, uh, ones that I just try to get as much possible because those things will sell easy and then I mean everybody would tell everybody and then we get you know the Camaros and the Trans Ams and the Corvettes coming in for those sizes right now there's no more of that stuff and it's really hard to get those I mean really kind of like non-existent kind of like um since nobody nobody has the 18s no more of those only the old school guys like me they can keep them in their cars but um when it comes to them like taking them off and you know buying new ones and stuff it's, it's very rare now so it's like you get like one good one here one good one there and you can pair them up like that i do but um it's not like it used to be so you gotta adjust and move on from that pretty much you know like so i i just sit and moved on to the chargers and the challengers now there's a whole bunch of those cars and a whole bunch of those tires it's a good match when you just put them together you make money um what else can i tell you about the inventory the new the newer trends um i i started noticing the the Teslas coming in more consistent. So then I started buying a little bit more of the 21s. And I waited for years to stay away from the 21 as much as possible. And they're here. So that's another tip for you. The Teslas are here and they get blowouts and they get patches needed and all that rotations and they want to swap tires. Um, so, and then even like the SUVs, like the BMWs, 21s. So then like I started carrying a little bit more here and there, even if they're just singles, but um, they will uh, come in handy. You, know, you will save people's asses by having them in stock. I'm talking about the used ones. I don't even mess with the new ones on those. If I was like in Beverly Hills or something like that, LA where all those, you know, exotics are at, it, I, it would be a whole different game. Like. That would be like the thing I would focus on. Like getting those guys in, getting those guys in because like if you'll be having the tires in stock and for cheaper, then everybody tells everybody and then you're gonna be known the spot right there. And I'm sure they're out there's a shop out there that is the spot for that. It's just I don't know LA out there right now. I just know like more uh as a whole, you know, but I mean not not specific shops out there. It's far. I mean, LA to me, to go out there, like Beverly Hills area and stuff, 
is probably like a, a solid almost hour drive uh, with traffic it is an hour but you know with the average it's you know pretty much it's not that close to me you know so i can't really talk about the exotics i can only talk about a few cars that get here and there with that stuff um I think that's pretty much it guys uh not really much when it comes to the newest newest stuff just a little bit but uh that's uh that's enough to get you uh to adjust and to move yourself in the right direction all right guys see you next time mamba out <laughs>